Hello everyone, Ryan here with Product Impressions. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I decided to start uh, improving my workstation here a little bit. I attached a keyboard tray from Vivo and I think it turned out really well. I've enjoyed using it so I'm gonna try and make this even better. I've never been a big fan of having the monitor on this stand. It seems to take up a fair amount of desk space. So we are gonna try and switch to a dual monitor setup. This is a stand also from Vivo so I was impressed enough to go back to them and the monitors and all of my accessories are gonna go through this universal dock for media gear. Uh, it connects by USB-C, and so hopefully it's going to work with both my personal and work computers, and I can just unplug one thing and plug it into the other computer to switch jobs. Uh, I'm very eager to see how this works. Uh, we'll get it all set up and see what we think. This is a pretty simple uh, stand. It's just going to be one pole holding up and another that goes as a crossbar to connect to both of the monitors. So I'm guessing that is this is the crossbar that will have the main pole go through here and just simply tighten down to the height that you want. So we've got that. We have the adapter for uh, the standard Visa mount a protective pad for the desk and the plates that we'll actually be using. Yeah, comes with a nice tools. Excellent. Okay, this is basically the same kind of setup as we saw for the keyboard mount. Everything is packaged in its own little uh, bubbles, so I assume that it is going to work much like it did with the keyboard, where you're just going to work your way through the plastic package. The ultimate attachment, or the uh, clamp to put it on the table. And final bar that just will adjust the height. And ah, instructions. Very nice for them to include that. And here we have the Type-C Universal Dock. So we're going to crack this open. We have a little quick start guide. Thank you for supporting our business. And, all right. Standard popping plastic bag. And media gear. That looks pretty nice. Here we've got all of our connections, the DisplayPort, HDMI, Ethernet, Type-C to go to the computer itself, headphone jack, and four USB ports, two of them 3.0, and the power plug for it, two more USBs on the front. And the accommodating cables. So we've got power plug, Type-C, and an adapter to connect to a regular Type-A. All right, we'll get it set up. We are going handheld to get a better look at how everything is set up here. That is the Vivo dual monitor stand. It is a simple crossbar, so let's take a look at how that is set up. I put the tape measure down there so you can see it's right up against the wall, and I had to pull out about four inches in order to make this all fit. Uh, it doesn't really look so great. I'm going to get some cable organizers to clean things up back there. Uh, one advantage of having slightly smaller monitors is I was able to put my speakers right behind the monitors there. Uh, so that is a very nice uh, unobtrusive place to keep them. Uh, you can also, if we look down here, you can see that there are cable organizers built into it that keeps everything nice and in line behind the bar, as well as a few hex wrenches for adjusting all of the different pivot points on this monitor stand. And everything is connected into this Media Gear USB Type-C hub, which I have the connector for right here. I just simply pull that out and then plug it into either a work computer or my personal computer, and everything automatically connects. I end up having these two monitors as well as the screen on the computer itself, and down here we've got a mouse and keyboard that automatically connect through that as well. So 
it's really wonderful to only have to plug in one thing and everything gets hooked up. And let's see, the only odd little thing here is that based on how many plugs are in here, it doesn't really sit flat. I'm not sure if I could find some other way of anchoring this that isn't going to make sure that it's in the way at some point, but uh, yeah. All in all, I would say that this has been a tremendous upgrade to my general desk. Uh, if you are concerned about having that much space behind there, this is, as I said, a 23-inch monitor and a 22-inch monitor. The stand is rated to hold up to 27-inch monitors, which the further out to the sides you have to push those, the less room you'll need in the back. So it is possible to put in much larger monitors and actually have it more flush against the wall if that is what you want to do. All right, some closing thoughts on this new setup that I have here. The monitor stand itself, I think, is a great deal at $30. It holds them both very sturdy, and I don't need to move it around a lot. If you end up going for one of the stands that will hold two monitors and allow you to move them around as you see fit, the cheapest one that I saw with that was $99. So $30 if you know where it's going to be, or $100 if you think you might have to move them around on occasion. I have made some little tweaks to the positioning of the monitors. I think it's very easy to do. I don't see any reason to go to anything more expensive than the simple $30 monitor stand. As for the media hub here, uh, I think that USB Type-C is really the way to go. I would not bother uh, looking at laptops that don't have a Type-C connection already because it is profoundly convenient to simply plug in one plug and it connects multiple monitors, keyboard, mouse, any other peripherals you might have, and charges the device at the same time. It really is not going to get any easier than that. I would not look at another computer without uh, a Type-C input anymore. Um, <clears throat> some concerns with the Type-C connection. Uh, it can be good to actually turn on the computer and let it boot up before you connect it to the Media Hub because it's possible that having so many inputs connected all at the same time will cause it to uh, kind of sputter a little bit and not start up quite as smoothly. I've noticed that particularly with my personal computer, though I should say that that is from uh, a company called Gamepad Digital. It's not one of the uh, main PC manufacturers, so it could just be uh, a quirk of my lesser known system. Uh, it is also something with Type-C that it is able to adapt the amount of power going through. Most laptops are going to require 60 watts of power. Uh, this one can go up to 65. Uh, so when you first turn on the computer, uh, my work computer is a Dell, and it will always have me uh, reboot it one time if it is plugged in when it's starting up because it doesn't think that it's getting enough power because it takes it just a second for the hub to get to the correct uh, amount of power to supply to the computer. Uh, otherwise, it has been profoundly convenient to be able to charge my work computer, my personal computer, my cell phone, anything that I need with a Type-C can just be charged by plugging it in here overnight and it simplifies the number of plugs that I have in. Uh, correspondingly with that, even though I have an additional monitor here set up, I don't need to have an, an additional plug for the computer itself. So in terms of the number of outlets it's taking, it is actually taking the same number and I have more peripherals connected at the same time. So it really does seem like USB Type-C is the way to go. I could not recommend this any more highly. Uh, everything seems to work really well. I'm very satisfied with it. So $30 for the stand and $85 for the Media Hub to make a wonderful workable desk. It really does work nicely. If you think that this has been helpful or useful, uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this setup, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much.